Hi, this is Terry. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a fun topic. Um, my son Adam, who is 20, was home over the weekend and what would you call the weekend? Turbulent, volatile, eventful. challenging, eventful. Yeah, um, it was it was definitely, some of it was fantastic and some of it was absolutely hideous. <laughs> Wouldn't you say? Yeah. Yeah. So I just want to point out, Adam is a really good kid deep down inside. And the problem is he's 20. And remember that prefrontal cortex isn't quite developed. And he seems to think he has it all fit, figured out. Um, but there's a major disconnect between what he thinks and then what the reality what, what the reality is based on some of the stuff that we talked about while he was here. And, um, you know, I don't know if it's COVID. I don't know if he doesn't have enough to do. I just don't know if it's just like growing pains type thing, but it was definitely a, a challenging situation. We had some good conversations, um, but one of the conversations that we had on Friday night did not go really well. And uh, I ended up sending a text to my husband, Zeke, who was on a 16 day, 1000 mile Route 66 bike ride with four of his buddies and bike, I mean bicycle ride. And um, basically we ended up talking and he asked if I wanted him to come home a couple days early. Normally, or in the past, I would have said, no, 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 I got this covered and whatever. But we both decided that, yeah, it would be a good idea. So he ended up um, on Saturday mor morning renting a car in Gallup, New Mexico, which is where they were. So he was just 150 miles short of Albuquerque. He ended up, or 120 miles short of Albuquerque, he ended up uh, renting a car, uh, driving to Albuquerque, and then catching a flight home. And I actually didn't tell Adam that he was coming home. It was very important for me and Zeke to um, communicate how serious we took some of the things that he was doing and some of the decisions that he was making, but also show him that we absolutely love him and support him. And... Um, he didn't quite get the message on Saturday night, but we had a conversation on Sunday and that conversation did not go well. So my Mother's Day was a bit challenging <laughs> to say the least. I mean, there's some super great highlights, but um, we're navigating through some stuff without much of a handbook and trying to find the best way to work with Adam, um, who is demanding independence and freedom, but really wants a blank check to be able to do it all. and there's a bit of a disconnect there. And so um, trying to have conversations as he's planning his move from San Diego to Orange, which is in Orange County, which is where Chapman is. And I don't think I've talked about this, but he got accepted into Chapman for junior, senior year. And he decided to accept it rather than waiting for Loyola Marymount or LMU to get back to him uh, to transfer. So we're super excited about the transfer, but you know, with it, you know, it's, I just don't want to see more of the same. And so we're having just kind of conversations to be able to appropriately set expectations because the price tag has gone up exponentially. And I also expect a certain amount of maturity and responsibility. So I am so glad that Zeke came home and I'm glad that we are both on the same page in order to support him. But it was um, definitely challenging. It you know, it's it's pretty sad when you're kind of happy when your kid leaves because it's very stressful and it's hard to have it all in your face. And once he left, um, it was a little bit sad, but we're going to see him in a month. And at the same time, somewhat relieved that, um, once again, you know, Finn is not having to deal with the volatility because Finn essentially shuts down while he's here when we're not sure which Adam we're going to get. And uh, I'm constantly trying to figure out how to navigate to be able to appropriately kind of herd the cat um, in the right direction. Knowing that he's 20, he needs to be making these decisions, but he's just not quite there yet to be able to make all of them. <laughs> I have to laugh, otherwise I will cry. So uh, in a month, <laughs> in a month we'll be... Uh, driving well that was the other thing is like we were trying to sit and plan it's like how is he going to get his stuff packed up in san diego and then moved up to orange we're not sure where he's going to live 
Um, he's supposed to actually come home and live here for two months before he goes back and we are actively and strongly <laughs> encouraging him to find some other place to be whether it's working on a farm or working outdoors or volunteering, you know, he doesn't actually have to get paid. He's a little fortunate in that way. Uh, but it's it's going to be better for all of us. Otherwise, Finn has threatened to go live with my parents for the month when they get back from Nicaragua. <laughs> hey, you said you wholeheartedly support I do. That. So. We also need to check to make sure that's something that Nana and Papa want. But that's that's beside the point. So I was texting my friend Candace today and the the question came up, it's just like, what were we like at 20? Well, at 20, it was completely different for me. I mean, I was working almost full time for my dad's account, accounting firm, doing tax returns, financial statements, audits and reviews. I was going to school. I was an ambassador with the Chamber of Commerce in Hayward. I was in leadership Hayward. I was part of the JCs, even though I was under 21. I was actually engaged to somebody who was 10 years older than I was, who I met on a cruise ship, and he was British, but we're not going to talk about that right now. Did not marry him. <laughs> um, it was just, it was a very different situation. I was living in an apartment. I was responsible for a lot of my own bills, but it also wasn't a time of COVID, and I think the expectations are very different now. So one of the things that we're really trying to communicate to Adam is um, we're trying to be there for him, love and support him, but also define expectations and help set some boundaries so that he knows that, you know, uh, it's not all about him, which he tends to forget. So uh -huh. <laughs> is, that, is that an understatement? Just, just a little bit. Yeah. I, yeah, I just don't quite know how to deal with this. So in the meantime, I'm really enjoying that Zeke came home early. Um, he got his second vaccine shot today. Finn is fully vaccinated. I'm just a couple days away from my two week post COVID vaccine number two and Adam's at least had one. So we're almost fully vaccinated and enjoying this gorgeous weather and uh, planning for Nicaragua because Finn and I leave on the 29th. I'll be gone um, for like 10 days and Finn will be gone a month as we uh, go and hang out with my friend Christy down in Nicaragua. We love Christy. We Christy's absolutely great. love Christy. Uh, she's actually doing a leadership retreat down in Nicaragua. No, not leadership. Uh, it's mindfulness kind of thing. So if Personal you're interested. growth and development. Yeah, I'll put a link in the description because um, I know one of my friends, my friend Amy, is going. And a couple of others are considering it. And I think it's about eight days long, and uh, it looks like a great opportunity. Um, so Finn's actually going to be doing a mini internship with Christy around social media and some photography and such. And uh, so if you do go, you'll be able to meet Finn if you don't already know them. So with that, I think that's just about all that I wanted to cover. Um, you know, just continuing the navigation and, and parenting um, and doing it in a way that is compassionate, empathetic, encouraging, um, in order to build uh, healthy, happy, resilient members of our society. And with that, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. And if you're new to this, I'd love it if you could subscribe. I come up, come out with videos about twice a week. I'm going to be getting back onto a regular um, cadence. I've been off the last uh, last two months have been a little bit difficult, but. With that, um, let go of perfection, take some risks, and above all else, have some fun.